We are very close to the upcoming 2024 Topps Stadium Club release. We don't know too much information just yet, but I am very, very skeptical. Word of the video is going to be skeptical on this new release, and I'm going to let you know why and why I'm very concerned in this video today. So what's going on, guys? It is Grip to Rip, and before we get into the video, let's plug the giveaway as usual. So at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away hobby packs of um, hobby product, uh, whatever the newest release is at the time. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos on the channel on what has been your favorite moment so far this baseball season. Of course, some of you guys may still be watching your favorite team as others like mine. I am obviously not. So would love to hear what you guys uh, type in the comments. Of course, you could do one one comment basically per video. I um, mean, comment obviously other things, but um, one giveaway entry per, per video. So that way I could see you guys in the comments. And honestly, the more active I see you in the comments, the higher the chance you got to win. Because I look and when I draw, like when I draw the winner... I just look and see who's most active, to be honest with you. Um, I don't put them in a generator because that would take me a very long time to do. So I just pick who I um, see the most of. So little little hint for you guys. So there it is. So either way, let's get into the video today. I will say this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter because the Steelers, my favorite team, play tonight against the Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. And I'm recording this video actually before the game because you know what? A little side note, football games, you know, they say baseball games take forever and they're trying to speed up the, the pace of play, right? But why can't we say the same about football? Why cannot we say the same thing about football? Because some of these games start at like 820, right? And they don't end until like 1145 or 12 o'clock. I wish some people would start bringing that up. Every time they can go to commercial break, they go to commercial break. Kickoff, injury, whatever, they go to commercial break ridiculous so that's why i'm recording this now so i'm gonna make this a little bit shorter but either way either way stadium club 2024 tops stadium club now i will say we probably as of the making of this video when it goes live we are probably gonna have official stadium club information today um pre-orders are most likely i would expect to go up this wednesday of course we will know that by the time this video goes up or not. But I do expect it to go up because we have the official checklist for Stadium Club. So if you haven't seen that video yesterday, go check that one out because we talked about it. Not, you know, nothing too surprising there. Um, everyone's literally in it that you would expect. But regardless, I had to talk about it anyways because it leads to a bigger fish to fry, in essence, with, with this product. And I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm going to say the word of the video again, skeptical. I'm skeptical for Stadium Club this year because I do not think it's going to be what people expect it to be. It's going to be a little bit different. Stadium Club, rumored for now, I'm sure will be confirmed by the time this video goes live, going to be a little bit different this year. Of course, as you guys know, they are putting more chromes, I don't know the exact amount, but more chromes in hobby boxes this year and in retail why are they doing that basically to apologize for stadium club chrome going the way of the dodo bird of course that product didn't even come out for 2024 or 2023 i should say so they're axing the chrome product and sprinkling it in with regular stadium club so it's the best of both worlds i actually kind of enjoy that I honestly, if you want my honest opinion, I think they should just ax normal stadium club and just put out Chrome. Because Chrome clearly sells. Now, would people be willing to pay $35 a blaster for for Chrome products? I, I don't know. Obviously, $27 for paper, $35 for retail, which I am going to talk about this first because I already kind of mentioned it. Pricing is going to be a little bit different. Pricing is definitely going to be a little bit different. Like, let's say, for example, they go the Bowman route. Bowman, there's two chromes on average per pack of a, of a blaster box, right? How much is a chrome or a, or a Bowman blaster? $35, right? 
Last year's Stadium Club Blasters were $27. No chromes, nothing. There's chances of chromes, but not guaranteed, right? And sorry if you hear the rain. It's storming right now, lightning. Hopefully the power don't go out during this video. But either way, I think Stadium Club Blasters are going to be probably $35 this year. Which, if that happens, I think people are going to be very upset. Now, of course, blasters and retail aren't everyone's first option. Obviously, I, I talk about this a lot, and it, it, it rings true, right? It rings very true. Why would anyone go out there and buy four or five blasters of, let's say, Stadium Club, when you can go buy a hobby box with two guaranteed on-card autographs? Because if you look at the odds, and we don't know the odds yet for now, but by the time this video goes live, we very might well know the odds of Stadium Club, which I will talk about that in a future video this week if that happens. I'm telling you, if you buy like $150 worth of retail for Stadium Club, the chances you get an autograph are probably like 25%, if that that's probably realistically true. Maybe 35 to 40, if that, but it's not going to be any great. Why not just buy a hobby box at that case or or a compact box? Because I had some questions asking me if compact boxes, of course, which are literally just half of a normal hobby box, are coming back. I haven't heard anything about it, but I will tell you this. If they increase the price of Stadium Club, I would expect it because look what happened last year. They increased the price of Stadium Club last year and they made compact boxes to, I guess, give a more affordable option. So I'm assuming they're going to do the same thing again this year because realistically, the price of Stadium Club, I hope I'm wrong, but we're going to find out here probably today, it's probably going to be like 150 to 160 a box. And that is obviously like, you know, not ideal. But what they're going to do is they're going to say, well, since there's more chromes in these boxes, we have to up the price. And to that, I say we need more in the boxes. Hence, I'm going to talk about this right now, chrome autographs. Now, you see, with my buddy Knoxville Rips' help, we found out that there are more paper autographs than chrome autographs, but only by like 25. It's about 90 chrome and 114 paper, which at first glance actually sounds pretty good. But at the same time, we have to realize one thing, one very important thing. Although chrome autographs in this stupid rain is like making me not focus, I don't know why, it's really loud, but anyway, anyways, we have to realize this. Chrome autographs, although they are not numbered, they are very limited, right? Obviously, if you buy a hobby box, I am willing to bet it's probably like one in every two or three you might get a chrome auto compared to like paper. Realistically, the majority of the autographs you seek in Stadium Club are going to be paper. Um, you might get lucky and pull a chrome auto out of like a composite box or maybe even a blaster box, which again, you know, that's, you know, who knows. Um, the odds of autographs and retail are really dwindling as of late. Um, but that's that's a video in and of itself, really. Um, especially with Chrome products. For whatever reason, by the way, Chrome products, I don't know if you know this or not, Chrome products, this is statistically proven. Except my good friend Platinum Chrome Anniversary, of course. But that's just an exception because of various different reasons. Do you know Chrome retail products are the hardest to pull autographs out of? Fun fact. But either way, so that's why I'm hesitant. I am very, very hesitant for Stadium Club this year because I realistically, I don't think people are going to understand this just yet, but it's going to be very different. It's going to be very, very different. And we are definitely, and this is the last thing I'm going to talk about really in this video, we are in a very interesting time period right now for Tops because let's go back about a month ago to Tops Composite Football, okay? What was one product in Topps Composite Football that you guys, if you opened it, recognized? Stadium Club. I don't want to say this too loud because I don't want to give Topps any ideas, bad ideas. But I think 
it might be a situation where we have a composite baseball product next year and Stadium Club as a whole product might go bye-bye. Because you have to realize next year, and I've talked about this in the past, and if you haven't heard this, I'll talk about it again. We have the NBA license with the logos next year. We have Pixar, Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel, which is going to be a big one. They're not going to have all the time in the world to print these products. They could open more printing plants, which that would be nice because it would create more jobs at the end of the day, which this economy desperately needs right now, but that's aside the point. That would be nice. But I definitely see a reality, and I've talked about this, baseball card collectors are going to be screwed over at the end of the day. At the end of the day, baseball card collectors are absolutely going to be screwed over because I think at the end of the day, it's going to be us, the baseball card only collectors like myself to an extent, although I do dabble in football. I think we're going to get screwed over pretty, pretty royally bad. And I think products like Heritage, definitely. Um, Archives, which Archives, I heard, has some pretty bad updates, which I don't know what they are yet, so I'm not going to speculate what they are. But I heard that Archives is going to be pretty bad with maybe price. I hope not, but we'll have to wait and see. I ain't going to jump the line until I know exactly what I'm talking about because I haven't heard a thing yet, but I've heard it's some pretty bad uh, updates regarding that, which we'll, we'll talk about that sooner rather than later probably. But these different products, this might be the last year for Stadium Club. I don't want to say that because Stadium Club has been around since when? The 90s, 80s, whatever, right? I remember I bought a pack of like 1992 Stadium Club from my card store for like a dollar back in like 2019 or something like that. So, Stadium Club has been around for quite a while, and I would hate to see this format go. But realistically, if they keep upping the price, and that in return might draw interest levels down, what's going to happen? What exactly is going to happen? Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen. They're going to make a compact baseball product similar to what a Archives is, or... Um, What's that one Panini Chronicles product? That Chronicles product for Panini, right? That's essentially what, what compact uh, football it was. That football release from Topps last month was essentially the unlicensed version of Chronicles. And I'll tell you one thing right now. They're definitely going to be doing that for baseball and basketball somewhere down the line. Because let's look at other products in that set. Cosmic Chrome. Cosmic Chrome comes out this Friday, right? I will be covering it in case you guys obviously didn't know. I will be covering it, so no worries there. Um, but Cosmic Chrome is like three, four hundred dollars, and you're not getting a single autograph guarantee. So that didn't really excite people. Um, so that product uh, definitely might go the way of the Dodo Bird or into a a new format like that NFL format they just did last month. So we are in very interesting times, and I really don't know what to expect. But with Stadium Club, and I assume we will have all the information that we need today, um, I, I wish I could honestly do videos day of, but my videos go live 1 p.m. every single day on the East Coast. And realistically, you know, I just can't do that. It takes so long for these videos to render I have to get the thumbnail made and do the other things like the title, the descriptions, and things like that. So I realistically, I can't upload day of videos. I wish I could because I would be on these things like clockwork, realistically. But um, I expect Stadium Club this year to be okay. I wish, honestly, the biggest problem for me with Stadium Club, it's not even the product itself for now. Now, the price may determine that. But the biggest problem for me is it's coming out so Close to Alan and Ginter, update, Chrome update, and Holiday. There's like five different products coming out in the span of like four weeks. And I just, for people's wallets, and, you know, obviously Christmas is coming up. People want to buy Christmas gifts for people and things like that. I just don't know. Some people might sit Stadium Club out, and it sucks because it's a really cool product. The pictures on the cards are great. And it sucks that this is what it comes to sometimes, but this is Tops being inept 
They should have released Stadium Club realistically probably in late July, early August, or maybe around the 4th of July, earlier maybe, because back in the day, Stadium Club came out like the first week of July. Um, Alan and Ginter came out typically in late August or early September. And that's two that's two things right there I just I, I mentioned that they could have probably done to ease up people's wallets. Because let's let's be real here. Let's be real here. You know, let's talk realistically. Realistically, people are gonna buy update. Update's gonna be great. Update will be fantastic. Holiday, people will definitely buy holiday this year because there's new formatting, and I think that's definitely gonna interest people to buy the product a little bit. Alan and Ginter has a following. I think people will dabble in that. Same thing with Stadium Club. I think people will dabble in Stadium Club as well. And then, not confirmed, but it's coming out, obviously, Chrome Update. Chrome Update, realistically, probably is going to come out around the 15th of November, somewhere around there. And with that, people are definitely going to be buying that. So, and we haven't even talked about Archives or, or High Number or Bowman Platinum or Bowman Draft. So there's so many products coming out and not a lot of money to go around in some instances because people got to, you know, buy groceries, buy Christmas gifts at that time. It's going to be interesting. I, I just don't know. It, they just, you know, Tops is really screwing themselves over because I would go all in on these products. If, if they were spaced out correctly, I would buy a lot more than I typically do. And since it's so close to each other, I just can't do that. I have to focus on one hobby box of this, one hobby box of that. Like, for instance, for instance, and this is the last thing I'll say in the video. If Stadium Club came out in July, I would probably be, I would probably buy a hobby box and a compact box. But now I'm going to be buying just probably a hobby, a hobby box, depending on the price. Depending on the price, which is probably going to be like 150 to 160 I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I'm running out of time because it's just about to be kickoff for the Steelers game. So either way... That's all I got for you. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sweating too for some reason. But either way, before we open a pack here, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video. This video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. We have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below. Download the app today. Use my promo code Grip and Rip. That is promo code Grip and Rip, all one word at checkout to save. $20 off your first purchase. Again, first purchase only. We're working our way to that universal 10% code. We might have that for next year for baseball uh, season. So hopefully that happens because that'll be really, really huge for everyone who already purchases through SeatGeek. So here we go, man. We're going to open a pack of Score a Treat again. Uh, I like Score a Treat. I, I I say this every time we, we open these packs. I would love for Tops to do one of these next year. I would. I think it would go well. You know, it's funny, right? They do Holiday, which I love Holiday. Holiday is definitely one of my favorite releases every year. And Holiday, Holiday does well. It does. Why can't they do that to an extent with, with, with uh, Halloween? Because people can give Halloween cards out for Trick or Treat. So why can't Tops do the same thing for football or uh, baseball? You know, so... That's just one little thing that, you know, definitely can... That's a pretty cool color match to an extent. Um, then we got... Here is going to be the rookie. It's going to be Byron Murphy. I think we just pulled him yesterday, did we not? I think we literally just pulled this guy yesterday. I think maybe. I don't know. Either way. Either way. I think um, I've got pretty much the complete set on this product. So that's that's pretty cool. Might put it in a binder just to see what it looks like. But either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think about Stadium Club. I'm sure we'll have official information when this video goes up, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. So either way, it's been Grip and Rip, and I'll see you guys in the next one.